as a leading insurer, we are committed to increasing awareness of suicide by connecting businesses to the resources that can help them. And we're a very proud sponsor of the Construction Industry Alliance for Suicide Prevention, CISP. But I, I wanna say that at the desk level, um, our nurses and our claim professionals are always looking beyond the physical injury that may bring one of our contractors claims to us. Um, and in fact, just the other day, one of our nurses um, had received a voicemail at the end of the day, and this uh, was a voicemail message from a physical therapy office that indicated that one of our construction uh, customers injured employees had been in distress and they thought she might be a suicide risk. So they left us a voicemail um, after sending her home and wanted us to know about it. So uh, our nurse got on the phone right away, tried to find the employee. And after, uh, after a number of calls, she was able to reach the employee. She, uh, she assessed that indeed this individual was at risk for suicide. She had made a, a plan to kill herself that evening, that night. So she uh, immediately connected uh, on a three-way call, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, and through that action was able to get uh, emergency services to where the employee was. Um, they took her to the hospital. She was admitted that evening and treated, and later she was released. So uh, a life was saved because of our caring nurse's persistence. And she was able to connect an individual who was in their very worst time of need with the right resources. So caring and connecting to right resources is something we can all do. And it's something that, uh, that we're proud that uh, this nurse was able to do for, uh, for this woman. Mm -hmm.